Good morning guys, how are you doing? So I made it to the shelter last night. This is the shelter, this is my view. Say hello to the vlog guys. Hello, good morning. Oh, good morning. I wrote these poor folks up at about uh, nine, seven minutes past nine last night. It took me about 24 minutes to blow my air mattress up, get into bed, but this is where I, uh, I slept. It is now 6.55 in the morning, Thursday, 17th of August need to get moving uh, I think I'm gonna I need to average now 24.5 miles to get to Mount Katahdin which is actually pretty good so I did 31.5 yesterday so I'm, I'm on schedule I'm doing okay but it was absolutely freezing last night I've got like my pink thing on my waterproof jacket my fleece my thermal my clothes are a little bit damp from like all the sweat yesterday I do not want to put them on but obviously I can't walk in my dry clothes this is going to be the biggest challenge. Okay, let's go to the privy. Yay! Hey guys, it is 11 o'clock and I am flagging. So, some, a very kind couple at the last shelter who actually said good morning. They gave me some tuna, which I haven't had for a few weeks. So, I'm going to smash down some tuna and peanuts, um, get some protein in me and just hope it re-energizes me and allows me to crack on for the next few miles. Let's eat quickly. The mud is slowing me down so much. You end up having to like walk around the side of them and it's just, you know, like a mile is taking like 45 minutes. Insane. The time is 1.05 and this is the USFF 71, elevation 2,500, 1,631.1 miles. It means that I have walked a grand total of 11, 11 miles basically, which is not good enough. Um, need to do minimum 24.5. I did, I, the, on, on, on the top of Stratton Mountain, which is the big climb coming up next, so we're going down to 2,230 elevation, then there's a big old climb to 3,936 Stratton Mountain, and then east from there, 0.8 miles, is a gondola, and it will take you down to do a resupply. I just don't know whether to do a resupply there, because obviously 0.8 there, then 0.8 back, it adds up, or if I just stay on the trail until I get to Manchester Centre and then hitch a lift from there. I don't know. I'm going to have to play with things by ear because, I mean, that's still another, what's that? Uh, it's 5.9 5 miles away to get there, so I'm, I don't know. Play things by ear. Gorgeous day, though. The sun is shining. Oh, it's very relaxing. Okay, I'm going to have a little two-minute rest and then carry on. <sighs> right guys, I'm not looking forward to this. We are going to be heading up Stratton Mountain 3.4 miles like this, all the way to the top. Once we get to the very top, it's then all the way down. And I actually want to sleep at a lower elevation tonight just because it's going to be warmer. It was so cold last night, it was absolutely Baltic. So 3.4 miles up, headphones going in, music's going on. Let's bash it out. Final push to the top. Apparently it's close. Just gotta get through this first. Woo! Top of Stratton Mountain, here we come. Right guys, this is the top, this is the summit. There's the fire tower. I'm not walking up it, I'm sorry. I don't love you enough. 
and I don't think my legs could take it. Oh, let's have a look at where we're going next. Stratton Pond, 3.2 miles. I wonder if there's anything else over here. Let's have a quick look. Stratton Mountain, a cradle of the Appalachian and Long Trail. Elevation, 3,936. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Done. Okay. Ooh, let's have a look where we are on the map. Okay. Well, we've cussed through, we went through Connecticut. We've passed through Massachusetts, no shower, no shower. Stratton Mountain, there we are. So we need to carry on. Oh my God, <laughs> still such a, <laughs> such a long way to go. Oh my goodness, 24 days people, 24 days. It is 5.09 on the 17th of August. Um, just having a little rest, I haven't made the pond yet. Once I make the pond, it is then seven miles from the pond to the shelter, and then I will have done 27 point odd, some odd miles. And then I need to sort out a plan of action. I need to get resupplies. So I'll probably have to go into Manchester. Um, but I can't think too far ahead. I've just got to think of where I am now. So I need to get up, get walking, bash out these seven miles. Hopefully, I really want to get to the shelter by like eight o'clock and not like nine o'clock. Um, and I'm hoping I can, I can do that. So get moving guys we're getting a lot closer Stratton Pond is 0.1 then the next shelter is the Douglas shelter uh, 5.3 but I'm going further than that so I need to get a get a move on guys this is so epic and also so random check out this lake how awesome that's amazing how beautiful is that oh my god it's gorgeous so uh, obviously we're going north, I don't know if this is coming up. Spruce Peak Shelter 7.8, well, that's where I want to go. So, yeah, let's, uh, oh, I still thought this was like trail magic, but it's not. It's just a revegetation area. All right, guys. Oh my God, this is glorious. Right, let's get walking, 7.8 miles to go. Hey guys, I am about three miles from the next shelter, which will have, I will have done like 27.5 miles once I've reached it. We're walking along this road at the moment. There's blazes on the trees. So this road is about uh, 0 .9, 0 0.9 uh, miles. I'm just trying to do this really quickly. Um, I don't know how, what time I'm gonna get into the shelter. But I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support, your comments, liking. Make sure you subscribe. And um, big shout out to Flynn as always who edits my videos and adds incredible music and makes them look awesome. Hope he's doing an incredible job. Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling okay today. Like part of me is just like there's a shelter back there, but there would have only been like 23.5 miles, and I need to average 24.5. And you think, Sarah, it's only a mile, but actually it really does add up and if um you know from what i've heard about new hampshire and maine you know i may not i may only be able to bash out like 20 miles a day and that's starting super early and finishing late so i just need to get as many miles banked basically before i hit the next two states so i still feel as <coughs> excuse me i still feel as though it is going to be just want to make sure yeah it, i still feel as though it is going to be a bit of a mad rush to get there my plan b is basically you know if i do end up getting behind the 100 mile wilderness is apparently relatively flat so if needs must then for for those three days i'll need to do like 33 34 miles a day to make sure that i get there because i need to be at back state park on the 9th of september so that i can summit on the 10th um because basically I don't want to walk like 20 miles and then have to summit because it will take like five hours to climb Mount Katahdin and obviously then five hours back down and doing that in the dark at night is not going to be fun so I'd rather do it when I'm fresh so fresh on the 10th on the Sunday that is the plan that is what I'm working towards I have to say I'm going to be so lazy when I finish this the couch has got my name all over it Netflix box sets I'm going to not be doing anything but I'm pushing myself super hard now, so 
Right, I'm still on the road. Okay. I'm going to pay a bit of attention to make sure I don't miss the turn off because that would just be a nightmare. And you know how I like getting lost on the Appalachian Trail. All right, take care. Lots of love. I'll try and speak to you later. If I don't, big love. All right, bye.